Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is a general timeless love reading. Let's see what is coming on for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, I'm giving away two free 30-minute FaceTime readings with me. In order to participate, all you have to do is um, leave me a comment and to also be a subscriber. So let's get started and then at 1,000 subscribers, I will pick two people. Pisces, we have in separation, healing boundaries time apart is what we have. So we're going to see what is going on for the masculine, for that side. Pisces, if you're going through some healing and some separation right now, on the other side, we have depression, regret, remorse, sabotage, pain, and loss. Wow. Okay. We have the masculine and the feminine, and you're both in that mirroring energy right now of regret and remorse coming from the masculine something has been sabotaged there's a lot of pain and loss that you're experiencing within a relationship so there's some healing going on for the feminine we're going to see what is coming on at the bottom of the deck we have acceptance make peace with the truth no judgment wow all right let's get started and let's see what energies are coming out when it comes to the tarot with what is coming on for pisces pisces what is happening here? We have the Ten of Voices. So with the Ten of Voices is the end. That is the end of what is happening. It is the end of the ego. It's the end of addictions. And what is coming up next is the Awakening, followed by the Magician. Okay, this is good, Pisces. Whew. It's like, okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have Sun. So this is beautiful because... Coming out of depression, coming out of that, there's going to be some sun that is going to be revealing itself to you, some illumination of the truth. So coming out of that darkness here, what we're doing is that we're letting go of the judgment, any judgments that you've had based on yourself or the other person here. The judgment is coming to your own divine nature, recognizing that you're here to have a new reality and for you to start something else. The 10 of uh, voices for me, you know, is having an egoic death. So what is happening here is that there's a painful truth and a realization that is happening here for you. So again, we're looking at regret, remorse, sabotage, pain, and loss and seeing the world in this, in this way. It's an opportunity for you to really start something new, especially with the sun at the bottom of the deck. So there's new clarity on what is coming. Ten swords turn into an A. So there's truth that is coming to light. Here with the card of awakening is just that is reconciling with this death, with this separation. The magician comes and says, you are the manifester of your own reality. What is it that you want to create? It's almost like we also have created this situation. So is, there's not anything that is happening to you. It is something that you created to learn something from when it comes with the magician. So this message is about you really recognizing what you've created and what you're here to create. Again, out of the loss, out of the feeling of depression and separation, you bring what? Clarity. So you bring truth and clarity to your own self. That's the new beginning that we're looking at at the bottom of the deck. So it's still going through it. On the other side, let's see what cards want to come out for the other side. So we have the cards that are coming out. Pisces, your own card came flying out. So we do have the moon over here. So this is revealing for the other side is that there's truth. There's been some, you know, Depression, sadness, dark night of the soul, some things that are, have not been to come to light. We have the sun and the moon. Let's bring the sun out over here because what is happening here is that there's some truth being shed. You know, um, Pisces, this is, you know, the other person that is also experiencing this is sadness. There is, like it says, some remorse that is also happening. What is coming to light? The card of three of wands had come with the awakening. So this is expecting something new to come in, something that you've been working on. So a reconciliation of that. Really, what is it that you want to bring in? What has been in the shadow within the relationship? When I'm looking at eight of swords is coming out with the magician, watch your thoughts. So if you are, you were always creating. So if you're going to create from a place of um, depression, or you can create from a place of healing that person right now, the other person is creating from this sense 
of depression, remorse, sabotage, pain, loss. It's exactly, that's the eight of, eight of swords here. So what is coming on here between the two of you? What is happening? Is it over? Is it done with? And we're seeing that there could be some kids involved. There's, it's about you also not stealing from yourself. There's some sneakiness and some shady behavior around the situation. So what you're doing is that that person, I would say, is going on on their own path as you are seeing the truth into some situations here. So coming to light, again, releasing judgment and really stepping into the new with the magician card. And, you know, there could have been a hope for family, but again, there's some deception that is lying here around yourself and the other person. So what I'm getting here is that there's just been a lot of sword energy, a lot of pain. Let's grab the Doreen Virtue and let's see what she's got to say when it comes to the matters of the heart. When it comes to the matters of the heart, this could, look at that. We have the first card out, which is the card of deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. The Seven of Swords will clearly say that. Then we do have the card of the wedding. The situation involves marriage. Some of you wanted to get married or you were married to this person. And then we will have another card that is going to come out. I do want to pull one more. And this next card out, let's see. Let's put that over here. So we have deception, wedding, and up. Oh, the card that falls on the floor is free yourself. Okay, so we have the card, it's time to take back control of your life. So coming to anyone who has experienced depression, sadness, separation, dark night of soul, and the judgment, releasing judgment, the create the creator, you know, the magician creating a new reality is going to look through the deception, is going to look at, wow, thank God, you know, we didn't get married or thank God that this didn't happen. So you're freeing yourself from that. So things coming to light, you know, sometimes it hurts in that moment. But when we get to see things because of the sun card that is coming through the moon, through the shadow, so it's alleviate, it's showing it's showing the deception, it's showing the sadness, it's showing that the relationship was over. Um, so when we get to see things like that, then what we get to do is create a new reality based on a new truth. And, um, and then it becomes so much easier to walk through to walk through the pain. So the relationship, we got ding on that. Okay, so <laughs> let's grab a um, card from the power of love and let's see what card is coming out. We do have the card of acceptance, which says you're ready to release control of situation or people that lovingly embrace the rhythm of a life, which is coming through, which is absolutely beautiful. So when something is over, it's over. And now you're coming to a place of acceptance. The next card out would be cause and effect. So you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. So again, be careful of the thoughts that you're putting out. So over here, if one person is negative, the other person is just done. The Ten of Swords, truth, I'm done. So if you're done and the other person is still acting shady, the cause and effect what happens is that if there's any sneakiness or any shadiness and you're seeing the deception in that is that the effect of that is the separation and comes the acceptance of the release of that relationship. And what we're looking at is exactly that. A release is happening with between the two of you. So what you're going to let go of as I wanted to split the card to see the energy it is a sudden change. I just wanted to see what else was coming because it was staring at me, which is the three of voices, the nine of voices, and the tower. So it's a sudden awakening. It's a sudden, I'm done. Done with the nightmare. Done with the pain. Done with the loss. So again, there's a lot of pain and loss that is happening. But from the pain and loss, this foundation was meant to break down because it was not going to stand the time. Um... It wasn't going to stand the time when we have free yourself and deception and seven of swords. This relationship needed some light on it. Let's go ahead and grab um, one of these cards and see what is revealing itself to you. Let's see what message is going to come out here for you. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab. You may not. Oh, wait, here's the front. 
You may not always understand why certain things happen. <laughs> we just said that the tower. However, there's always a higher purpose. I just said this to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. I swear to God, you. this is what I'm talking about. It's like, what is this one? It's like, beware of what you're projecting. No. Okay, but this is exactly what I'm talking about. It seems like this tower needed to happen. This is the cause and the effect. And when you can really look at the deception and look at the relationship itself from a light, from an illuminating space, then what you'll see was that there's no mistake of this happening. And now you're freeing yourself from that so you can go on this new journey by having this judgment. So it's like releasing yourself from all that is so you can now create a new reality for yourself. I mean, this is a beautiful reading depending how you want to look at it. We can look at it as, ah, oh, it's painful. Or you can look at it as though, yeah, no, this is perfect because you've learned a lesson here. Let's go ahead and see what uh, the feminine is saying to the masculine. Compassion does not see the faults of others. It does not see the weakness of people. It has no ego. We're clearly seeing all these swords are what ego, ego, ego. So there was a lack of compassion in the relationship. And that's the final speak from the feminine to the masculine. While the masculine is saying to the feminine, knowing that you shall pass away, how can you quarrel and let bitterness harden you? Wow. <laughs> and you cannot make this up. So here, I mean, knowing that you shall pass away, how can you quarrel and let bitterness harden you? And we clearly are seeing that here. So this relationship has definitely had its tower moment. And it's now time to bring yourself to a place of newness and creating something new by letting go of anger, letting go of deception, letting go of the bitterness. So you can what? So you can free yourself and step into the creator that you are and bring that love in. Until next time, sending you so much love, so much light. Namaste.